Hi traders, there's something technically important I want to discuss today. I'm going to show you that over my BA trade, I had a nice green trade in BA. I had some other green trades, but one big loser as well. Well, I'm going to finish in green today. That's not uh, the topic of this discussion. Now take a look at uh, BA. Uh, we took BA long today over 221.20, which is right over here that point right over here and then it started moving higher and we were wondering where should be our target now anyway my target was supposed to be just under 220 you want to sell a stock before a whole number it's always important because you will see normally we'll see a lot of sellers lining up at the whole number so once it comes to the whole number you just you don't just sell you wait to see maybe it's just going to go through the whole number and it did so you just watch the number of sellers you see the number of sellers you watch the level two and you see if the number of sellers declines and then at that point you just let it move over the whole number and you improve your risk reward ratio by taking a little bit more than the expected planned target and that's what happened with Boeing it did go over 222 which was my target just a few cents before 222 again a whole number was my target it did cross it and it moved all the way to 222.20 which is right at that point and then it continued to move higher and pulled back down anyway that was a nice target price for me which was a little bit more than I expected so what's so important about this number you will notice the following once a stock is moving over a whole number let's call it a whole number breakout normally it would stop somewhere near the 15 cent mark that's because well I have to go back on this and explain something else here you know when you have a breakout a whole number breakout or just a breakout people are normally thinking in terms of cents like if it's a $20 stock or a $200 stock like BA it really will behave quite the same which means a person is thinking should I buy it over $20 okay it's 20.01 now okay I'll buy it no yes okay 20.03456789010 15 that would be the point where they will normally stop and you will see pullback at around the 15 cent mark well it did continue another 5 cents it's not really the exact 15 it's normally going to be around 15 uh, 12 13 15 20 cents something like that now it works the same with the $200 stock the same people who are buying the $20 stocks are the ones who are buying the $200 stock on the breakout of a whole number and that would go like should I buy it at 201 202 and they're thinking not percent wise they're thinking cent wise that's why a breakout over a $20 stock is normally quite the same as a breakout over $200 stock and you know what a $2 stock would behave the same like a $2 stock breakout could be 20 30 40 cents same with two, $20 stock or $200 stock you will see that quite often so normally if you have a whole number breakout look for your partial at around the 15 cent mark now it's not that you just click the button on the 15 cent mark you don't do that you what you do is wait for the first sign of a pullback around the 15 cent mark and I did get it it moved another five cents and then it dropped down several cents tens of cents so I did it I did really get my partial right over there and then what you do is really you just you know wherever your stop was wherever your target was in your stop loss you just you know push the stop farther your trailing stop farther so you don't really allow it more than just two three four five cents pullback from your plan target which would be normally 15 cent over the whole number well look at that see how often this really uh, returns how many times you will see a stock moving over a whole number and then stopping at around the 15 cent mark it happens quite a lot uh, so you should have your partials right over there if this information helped you in some way we would really like if you give us a thumb up it helps our channel and thank you very much for doing that and you can subscribe to our channel right over here there's a button here and you can also click on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads just one last thing look at the links right here below you can sign up right now to the world series of day trading WSDT it is coming it is coming in October quite soon you can sign up right now and uh, let's see who's the best trader in the world it is open right now to all participants from all around the world so looking forward to see you there 
there's a sign up uh, link right here below thank you for watching see you next week the World Series of Day Trading returns for the sixth time, and this time the biggest prizes in history. Starting the 20th of October and lasting for six trading days. To take part in WSDT, you have to register and pass the verification process. It's your time to prove you deserve the most prestigious title in day trading. The best day traders on the planet gather to discover the new champion of the world. Trade a demo account for six days and prove you are the world's best trader. New to day trading? Don't worry about it. Whatever your level of experience, you're welcome to join. Win access to the biggest prize of all. It's time to prove that you are the next champion of the world. Register now to guarantee your seat. World Series of Day Trading is a registered trademark of WSDT World Series of Trading Limited. Residents of selected countries may compete. U.S. persons may not compete. The prizes awarded to the eligible winners are not transferable, redeemable, or exchangeable for any other prize. By participating in the competition, each participant and winner waives any and all claims of liability against WSDT.